Starting with Ezra Shem Simon Mem and Maimar Yishev Eretz Yisrael. And we're talking about the question if Yishev Eretz Yisrael applies to people who are not Sadiqim. He says, The Avni Nezer, in his Tshuva, Yardek, Tuf Nandal, goes back and forth. Does the mitzvah apply only to, to Tzadik? Or maybe it makes no difference. And the, of course, you remember the, the source for that idea that it's only for Tzadik is the Gemara in Bracha Staff, not from Nun Zayin, that says that Rav Zeira said, I only went to Eretz Yisrael after I saw barley in the dream, and the barley was a simon that I'm a Tzadik. Only after I knew that, then I went to Eretz Yisrael. Okay, Nechze Anan, let's see. Hinei B'tshuvas Maram, the Tshuva of the Maram in Rottenburg, Huva B'kalboi, Simon Kuf Chav Zayin, B'din HaHoylech L'Eretz Yisrael, about the question of going to Eretz Yisrael, after the Maram writes extreme language, extremely uh, high, high praises, about someone who goes to Eretz Yisrael, he says like this, that there's a t'nai. When someone goes to Eretz Yisrael, he has to be, he has to be, he has to be separated from all sins. And he has to keep all the mitzvahs that apply in Eretz Yisrael. Because if he doesn't, then he'll be punished more than he sins in Chutz Lord. It's the same thing he praises the mitzvah. He says, I'm warning you, oh. only some Rabbi Elazar asks you the same thing. Yeah, we're going to see it in a minute. And the Ma'am Lola, as you read him, we're going to see it in a minute. Ki Hashem doresh oisah tamid, because Hashem is always looking into Eretz Yisrael. The Eni Hashem ba, the Hashkachas to tamid. He's looking on all the people who live there more than anywhere else. The Eni doim lemoyed b'malchus b'paltin, lemoyed chutz l'paltin. Someone who rebels against the king in his palace is worse than someone who rebels outside the palace. For he Eretz oichelas yoshveha. Eretz Yisrael is a land that eats up those who inhabit it, meaning the people who aren't uh, on the level. The oisna holchim l'sham. Those who do go there, v'roitzim linhoi kalis roish, and they want to live a life of uh, lightheartedness, b'pachazusam, and b- b- they want to act uh, with with just hefkerdik, ulehis koytet shama, and they want to fight there. Koyre ani aleihem, koyre ani aleihem, v'tavoyu v'tatamu is artsi. Here, my Ram says, you say pasuk down. My Ram says that's the pasuk uh, that says that the, the, that you came and, and you defiled my land. Me bikes joys me yedchem and roys chatzera. The other pasuk in Yeshaya, who asked you to come, right? So who asked you to come and trample my courtyards? Avom mi shahalach lehis naig. Someone who comes there to dwell lehis naig bikdusha v'tahav tahara to live a life of, of holiness. Ain kates lischare. There's no end to his reward. Ubilvad sheyuchal lehis parnes. As long as he has a, a source of of income there. Adkan l'shoyin ayun sham. When we vur bazeh, we see from this Maram she'af she gadol mo'ayd in yeni shivas eretz yisrael. Even though he holds very strongly of living in eretz yisrael, mikol makom ein ze el b'misha noig sham sham b'kedusha of tahara. It's only someone who's going to be on the level to live there b'kedusha. For nizar mikol avon, he'll be careful from all sins. For loy tema. Now, maybe somebody will say he says for loy tema. Don't say she ulai rak hamaram l'shitasay. This is only the Maharami Rottenberg. That he... He doesn't hold like the Ramban. He doesn't hold that he doesn't hold that there's a mitzvah of Yishev Eretz Yisrael. Like I explained before in the first Maimur, Maimur Shalash Shavuos. Now if you look back in the Maimur Shalash Shavuos Simen Vav, at the end, really the first five, six Simonim are all about the Maharami Rottenberg. But in Simen Vav at the end, he comes out, the Maram Rottenberg is the one who said that a, a husband could force a wife to go there as Israel, but the wife can't force a husband. Yeah. Based on the Yushami. And the question was, why did that change? And the Zman HaGemara, both could force each other. But now, but so now, now, only, the now only the husband would. So what's the difference? So we had a little bit there. In, in summary, in summary. So one of the reasons was that the, the Maram Rottenberg holds that the Zman said the mitzvah is not, doesn't apply anymore. It's only an Indian to go there as Israel. It's a better now, place. Right. So why the, the husband? The Shulchan says that a husband can't force a wife to. Her. So one of the answers he brought over there was that the Bach said that yeah. since the husband is responsible for parnasa, so he can't be forced to live in a place where he's not going to be able right. to. Right. Yeah, yeah. I got you. Anyway, so. Or we suspect the, the women might be of znus because remember. Okay. Right. That was it. Okay. Because so, the man is as is permitted to other women as is. Anyway, so he says that 
the Nimsa Lafizeh, in the last paragraph of Simon Vav, Nimsa Lafizeh, the Shapir move on Shoyresh Das Haram Zal, the Maram, the Vizmana Mikdash, during the time of the base of Mikdash, Haya Mitzvah Gedoyla. There was a great mitzvah to go there. Shahaya Oz mitzvah v'chiyev der Raisa. V'gam haviko ever the Bodhisar. And if someone goes out of Eretz Yisrael, he's like he's doing a Bodhisar. Ma she'en ken achshav. But nowadays, Shabbat al kolze, that this doesn't apply anymore. Hain be ma she'om ru haviko ever the Bodhisar. It's not like over the Bodhisar anymore to go out because the pshad is that what's, what's the din when someone goes out of Eretz Yisrael, he's like he's doing a Bodhisar. It's because he's going under the, under the Gentile governments, right? Yeah. Going out of a Jewish government under a Gentile government. But since bizman zeh, it doesn't matter where you live, you're under a Gaisha government. So therefore, you're going out of Eretz Yisrael, it's not Ko'ev Yedavad Yizar. The Hain Be'ikra Chiv, and also the mitzvah itself, Shemach was Gzair Sagalas, Bata Chiv, because of the Gzair Sagalas, the Ridva, Kamash Kasav Ridva, the Ridva in Yuma, that says the Bizman Gaulus, there's no Chiv to live in Eretz Yisrael. So be, therefore, there's no mitzvah anymore. Be'ach, Afa Pichain, but still, Yesh Al Kaponim Ketzas Mitzvah. There is somewhat of a mitzvah. Kemoyesh Yesh Milo Yisrael Yishalayim. It's just like there's a mile to live in Yerushalayim. It's more of a, a, a Mokim Kaddish. The Gavir Eretz Yisrael. Aval Vada is a Shezeh Nikra Mitzvah Ketana. Neged Masha Ayi Bizman HaMikdash. V'lochein chilku bazeh b'din k'fiyas ho'isha. Bein zman hazeh l'zman HaMikdash. That's why it's different between the husband and the wife. And he goes on and he explains what the difference is. All right. Anyway, back to this. So the Maharam, the Rottenberg, the Shittasoi, who doesn't hold, like the Ramban, that there's a Mitzvah Saseh Bizman HaZeh. Oh, so that's why he said you shouldn't go there and live a life of Hefker. Yeah. But maybe, according to the Ramban, there's still a mockum to say that everybody should go. Because why not? Just because you didn't do one mitzvah doesn't mean you shouldn't do another. V'adabra oid mizeh, and back to some mem now. V'adabra oid mizeh lehalon, v'lochein kosav kein, that maybe you'll say that's why the Maram said it. V'ein zeh v'das Ramban. Maybe the Ramban would disagree. Ki advar mamurim l'chol des. Oh, but he says no. Ki advar mamurim l'chol des. You shouldn't say that pshat, because everybody would agree to this shtickle of the Maram in Rottenberg. Why? So he's going to explain now. Uva charedim, the sefer charedim, right? B'din mitzvah satulius pa'aretz, he brings down all these mitzvahs that apply in Eretz Yisrael. So Hevi, the Perak Aleph, Shita Saramban. He brings the Ramban Shita. She mitzvah si shivas Eretz Yisrael, he mitzvah saseh. The Raisa. That it's a positive mitzvah from the Torah to live in Eretz Yisrael. The Her Richoid, Acher Kach, the Perak Base. He goes on there at length. The Goid al Chavivus mitzvah zu. He says how beloved this mitzvah is. The cost of Shabuchol Eis, Uvuchol Rega, every second that Shahadam who bears Israel, who Makayim mitzvah zu. He's keeping this mitzvah. The Tsar Chayoisha bears Israel, Liyosh Sameach Tadir, the mitzvah Hatadira. He has to feel the Simcha every second that he's in there at Israel, that he's being Makayim this mitzvah. Be Ahavos Ayoisha, that he loves this mitzvah. Be Afa Piche, and still. Still the Charedim, with all his enthusiasm about Eretz Yisrael, he still says, Those who come to Eretz Yisrael and don't have in mind that they're in the palace of the king, and they rebel against him there. Now how do they rebel? So listen to what he says. They have a lot of parties. And they go to bars. So for people like that, the, the, the Torah says, Vatavoyu vatatamu is artsi. Vinachalasi samtim lisoeva. Those people are defiling Eretz Yisrael. So he doesn't even say real Averis. He just says people who just take it easy. Uchsiv, ki savoyu lirois panai. When you come to see, to, 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 to come before me, mi bike joyce mi yedchem and royce chatseirai. Who asked for me to come and trample the courtyards? Velo yale al libam. And these people should not think, says the. Um, the Charedim, they should not think that after they die, they're going to be able to stay in Eretz Yisrael. Their Nishamas will stay there. No. After they die, they're going to be sent out like dogs. All those who are Rishayim, who die in Eretz Yisrael, they their souls will be placed in the, in the slingshot, chutzlarts, and they'll be thrown out into chutzlarts. Shnemar v'yas nefesh oivecho yikalenu b'soich kafa kela. Like uh, the pasuk says, by Avigail said to David the Melech that the uh, enemies of David should be sent, should be uh, the, the, their, their souls should be thrown in the slingshot. 
We lost it. Lavoi, Hakadosh Baruch Hu Oichei is pekan for Yisrael Yisrael. Hakadosh Baruch Hu is going to pick up the corners of the land. Umenayir Oisla Mikol Tuma. He's going to dump all the Tuma out of it. Umashlich Oisla Mechutz. He's going to throw all these souls of these Rishonim outside. Shenemar Lechoi is pekan for Yisrael Yisrael. Vinayir Rishonim Rimena. Ad Kan Lashonim. That's the Charedim. The heavy Oid Hacharedim. Achar Kach. The Charedim also brings Gami Divrei Ramban. He brings from the Ramban Al Choymer Ha'Oynish. About the severity of the punishment, la avoyna shabar tzitzel for the sins in Eretz Yisrael. The Ramban in Parshas Achrimois, the end of Achrimois, says that any sin in Eretz Yisrael is punished more, and he says that's why it says there Eretz Yisrael shkula can they call mitzvahs? It's equivalent to all mitzvahs. If you do mitzvahs there, they're worth more, and if you do averus, they're worth they're worth more in the other direction. The siim, and he ends off the charedim ends off lachain. Therefore, call adam yechrad. Everybody should tremble v'voy el Eretz Yisrael when he comes to Eretz Yisrael. He should be double and triple as much as he is in, in Chutzlaretz. Mimashu hu b'chutzlaretz. Yu in sham sheherich. Okay. V'hinei loi dibra chareidim mi mechal le shabbosos. The chareidim never speaks about people who are mechal shabbos. Oi oich le treifus. People eat treif. V'chadoim me ha'averis ha'chamuros. Don't speak about any serious averis there. Ki loi hizke bidvar v'alo oiso averis shemar bim mishtoi shal sudas mireis. He only speaks about people who have lots of parties and do this together. That that there are not a mitzvah. V'noida, and it's well known, ki lefa'amim yesh pozeh mitzvah. That sometimes it could be a mitzvah to have a sudas mireis. Could be a mitzvah to have a, a just a, a, a gathering of people together to have a suda when it's not a mitzvah. Why? Ki mevur b'sefer achaim me'akadosh achia ma'aral zal. Rabbi Chaim, the brother of the Maral. Right. The Chelik Gimel, Sefer Parnasa Vichalkala, Per Gimel, Vizel Shainai, Al Tehi Sudas Mireis Kal Necha. Don't think low of a Sudas Mireis, of a Suda of friends. He's man she'en schoik v'kalis roish. As long as it's not, uh, it doesn't become hefkadik and people just, you know, Why? do, do uh, crazy things there, as long as it's normal, it shouldn't be bad in your Why? eyes. Because he says, listen, Chazal don't say for nothing that she'im hischil ain't mafsikin. That the din is, by mincha time, if you start in the Suda, ain't mafsikin. You don't have to stop. Afla tefila. Why? Even if it's not a Suda's mitzvah. Why? Ki gedoyla legima she mekareves es tarachoikim. Umachzekes es tarachoikim. Ben ish l'reyeyu. That... Eating and drinking is a great thing because it brings people close together. Uh-huh. So if you want to be makar of people, to Yiddishkeit, whatever, to, your, to a Rebbe, to have a suda together is a good thing. Uh-huh. And it also strengthens the love between people and makes people have a better relationship with each other. So it's a good thing. And actually this was the minig, he says, Even in the ancient times, Every family had a day of the year that they gathered together and they had a, a suda together. Mm-hmm. David, David said when he was expla- explaining why he, um, he had to go to, to, to Hebron, he said, That uh, we, we had a base um, lechem. He, he had a zevach mishpacha, a gathering, a suda for the family in that, uh, in that city. Ad kam l'shoyna. Im kein on iroyim, we see from this, sheyesh besudas mireim gam mitzvah gedoyla. There's actually a great mitzvah to have besudas mireim. El de'af al-pichein imarbim bozei yoyser. But still, the charedim says, if you do it too much, yoyser we die, v'yesh bitl toira, and it causes bitl toira, oyim hu b'derech schoik v'kalist roish, or you get out of hand, havei avera. Then it's an avera. K'mash al-amr chazal b'mishnu avas per gimel, schoik v'kalist roish, margilim v'adam l'avera. That schoik and Laughter too much brings the person to Aveir. And the Acharedim uh, doesn't say anything about any other sin. And he's so, he's so afraid of it. He's so afraid of living in Eretz with this Aveir. And he calls them Shalmorim, he calls them rebellious in the palace of the king. So Mavur Bazesh the Kol Masha Hiflik B'Shvach Hayishiv Beretz Yisrael Ein Zeel Liyereish Shemayim Gomer. So it must be that when he says that living in Eretz Yisrael is a great thing, he's only talking about a real Yereish Shemayim. She Ein Ois the Shum Avera. He doesn't do any Avera, even the slightest. Ve Ein Levatul Klal Milim of the Torah Kedusha. He doesn't waste any time from learning. Biapsha Machzik Tuva B'Shitis Ramban. Even though the Charedim himself agrees with the Ramban, 
Shemekai mitzvah b'chol rega, that he says, every second that you're there, you're keeping a mitzvah. Sheyosh b'eretz d'al, mikomokam b'oivri avera, na'poichu. People who do averas, then it's, it's a bigger avera to be there. Okay? One more paragraph? Okay, gam ha'shloa kadosh b'shar ha'oisius, ois kuf, gam b'kedushis ha'mokam, hetik divrei ha'charedim. The shloa kadosh brings this charedim, ho'elu, gam b'tzila, kishachalak al arach. He brings it when he argues on the on the rach. You know, Rabbi Chaim, Rabbi Chaim Cohen, and Toisvus Kuf 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 Kuf, yeah. Kuf Yud. Toisvus says that uh, there's no mitzvah bizman zev Yishuv Eretz Yisrael, mm. and he says that it's better not to go because of all the mitzvahs that apply there. And if you break some of the mitzvahs, yeah. then you'll be punished more. So therefore, it's better not to go. So the Shla Kaddish disagrees with that. And, uh, and maybe the, he means the Haredim disagrees with that. So the Haredim was a Rishon. So he disagrees with that, Toysavis. She'omar she'ach she'vein mitzvah la'adu b'eretz v'achar. Reb Chaim Cohen says there's no mitzvah. Ki yesh kam mitzvah satulis b'aretz. Because there's many mitzvahs that apply there. V'kam o'enshim. Many punishments. De'ein alin yecholim lizar bohem. You can't be careful of them. So cost of shlom ha'shla kadosh. De'al zeh ne'mar tzadikim yelchu b'am. U'poishim yikashlu b'am. But it depends. It's not so posh like Rabbi Chaim Cohen. It depends who you are. If you're a tzaddik, then Adarabah, better to live there. He says, Devad, I mish a dar beret Yisrael. Someone who lives in Eretz Yisrael, ve'enu mekayim, masha mechuyi v'kayim. He doesn't keep the mitzvah set to his barts. Oh, it's too posheya. Then he's a, he's, he's a sinner. Abel mekadosh atzmoy, hu mekayim, masha hu mechuyi But someone who does keep it, oh, it's ashrav. Then, good, good for him. Fortunate is him, is he. Ad kan l'shoinai. Im kain, chazinun bazeh. We see from the Shlach uh, Kaddish the Daito Ebrura Shekol Machlukto Machlukuste Al Rabbeinu Chaim. His whole disagreement with Rabbeinu Chaim Kohen is b'mashu Amar Shach Shavein Mitzvah Adar Beretz Yisrael. So if Rak Al Mekayim Hakol, he's only disagreeing with him by a, a, a tzaddik who could be Mekayim all the mitzvahs. Shenuch Aloymer Alav Amikrat Tzaddik Miel Chubam. He will benefit from it. Abu Misha Einu Mekayim Hakol. If he doesn't keep everything, then So if Ragam Huzal Sheretz Yisrael Hu Loy LeMichshal. Even he disagrees, and even he agrees with the Rebbein Chaim that Eretz Yisrael is worse for him. So, as someone who knows he's going to go to Eretz Yisrael, not keep the mitzvahs, better not to go. The Amar Allah of Akasu of Poishim Yikashlubam. He says that regarding that, this pasuk of Poishim Yikashlubam. Now, just to be fair, though, in Eretz Yisrael, let's say a person is keeping all the mitzvahs that he has to do in Chutz yeah. right? But he knows if he goes to Eretz Yisrael, he's not going to keep Trumas and Maestras yeah. and things like that. So, yeah, Avada, he shouldn't go to Eretz Yisrael. Right. But let's say someone who doesn't keep anything, or doesn't keep uh, mitzvahs, even the things that apply in chutzlarts, yeah. right? Or so or so you're going to tell somebody like that, <clears throat> don't go there to Israel. What is he gaining by not going? <clears throat> Bishlam, the guy who doesn't keep trumas and maestras, he's gaining that he's not going to have the mitzvah in chutzlarts, yeah. right? But here, a guy doesn't keep Shabbos. What's he going to gain by living in chutzlarts? Correct. What's the answer? What's he going to gain? So obviously, he's not talking about that. He's talking only about people who don't... Uh, who don't keep um, Trumas and Maestras, right? You're saying that that, if you're not going to keep Trumas and Maestras, it's better not to go. That's but yeah, means. but you're not going to give, you're only going to get angry at you if you go to Eretz Shalom or Chal Shabbos. Right. No, I, I've added the people who don't keep Shabbos are not going to keep Trumas and Maestras either. So there's yeah. a trade-off. So they're going to go to Eretz Shalom and get a mitzvah, but they also lose the yeah, Trumas yeah, and Maestras. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, okay. The Ma'arit, who disagrees with their Ben Chaim, the Marit is the you know the Rishon who um, has a Shalos Shavuos Ch- 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 Marit. Yeah. Rebbe brought it down earlier in Simon Dalad, Shalos Shavuos. So he says, Gam Hamarit beplugtasa yal Rebbeinu Chaim cost of Tamze. He also says this reason sheefshu lekaim akol that you could keep all the mitzvahs there. Avaloi beoiver chas v'shalom. He says not that someone should just go there and be over on the mitzvahs. Gam beparshas lech lech lecha cost of ashlag kadosh to lochein nishar sham. Shame Canaan, the hearts. The Shlach Kaddish says, why does Eretz Yisrael still have the name of Canaan? Uh-huh. He says, uh, ha- le- 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 Even though it belonged to Klal Yisrael, it still has the name Canaan. How could that be? He says, Ki Canaan, who ever? Interesting, look in the whole Tanakh. You won't see the name Eretz Yisrael mentioned. Right, no, 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 no. Maybe once in Lachim, that's it. Basically, the whole Tanakh yeah, is Eretz yeah, Canaan. Yeah. yeah. What's the pshat? He says, Ki Kanan who Evid. Kanan was a slave. Gam can, and, and it's supposed to teach us that we're supposed to be a slave to Hashem there. Ki Gam Kanan Lashon Hachna. And the other thing yeah. is, it's, it's a Lashon of submitting, submitting yourself to Hashem. Yeah. The Zehu Kiyim Haaretz. That's 
the pshat that that when that's the the point of Eretz Yisrael. That's the best way to live there. Shaniya avde Hashem. We have to be slaves to Hashem. Ukeshaparaknu oil. But when we threw off the yoke of Hashem, for loy ha'inu avadim loy azai avadim washlu bani. Then other rabbis the slaves ruled over us. In the pasuk in Eicha, right. The Iker Milas Vikiyim Hearts. The main point of living in Eretz Yisrael is who be Yoisenu Avadim and Ichnoim Loi to be submitted to Misser to Hashem. The Herich Oid Bozeh and he goes on at length. Shetzarch Liyos Eretz Yisrael Bechinas Ger Veloy Bechinas Toishav. The person has to feel like a stranger and not like a which is always the exact not like a not like a permanent resident. There's always the, the opposite actually. <laughs> the cause of Acherkach. The Simonach your Simon for this is Eretz Achelus Yoshvehahi. That the word Yoshvel means people who want to really live there and feel like permanent residents. So for them, Eretz Yochel is Yoshvel. It's going to it's going to destroy them. Mechala haraitzim leishibba. It destroys those who want to stay there permanently. B'shalva they want to sit there peacefully without any problems. Uvatoykif with strength. Lechal peresel and eat the fruits. V'li Yoshba levach. And to just to, to, to just to live there and, and and not for any other reason. But really, what is Eretz Yisrael for? People who go as a stranger and they want to live there, like they don't deserve to live there, they're just there to serve Hashem.